Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about probability density function. So now I will show you how to answer. We need to find the value of c to make sure that this function is about probability density function. So I need to set up about the integral. So we need to put the integration form negative infinity to positive infinity and we have the function in here. The integration of 1 plus s square in denominator you will have about c or tan of s and we put the bounds from negative infinity to positive infinity So, when s approaches to positive infinity, we will have about b over 2. When s approaches to negative infinity, we will have about negative b over 2. Because we have the bottom in here, that's why we need to have the negative sign. This one we simplify and we got about cp we know that the probability density function we know b capital s equal to number 1 so this one should be equal to number 1 so cb in here should be equal to number 1 in here so c in this situation that's about 1 over p. And now, this is the final answer. Question number 2. For what value, for that value of c, find about the probability from negative number 7 to positive number 7. About this one, we just put about the interaction from negative number 7 to positive number 7. About C, we put about 1 over B. Go in here. And this one, we have 1 over B, all time of S. And we put the bounds from negative number 7 to positive number 7. And we will have about 1 over b r time of number 7 minus r time of negative number 7. And we put inside the calculator, we have 52. Oh, sorry, wrong. That should be about 0 0.909. Six, seven, and uh, we just round the number in three decimal place. That should be about zero nine one zero, because this one that round up. Oh, that's why we have another number one in here. Nine plus one, you got about ten, and this is the final answer we need to find in here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.